So Ollie, last time we spoke, you were down off to Marlborough for the Injured Jockeys Fund Golf Day. How did you, uh, how did you get on? Yeah, no, a good day, um, obviously for a great cause. I think we actually finished fourth as a team. We left a few shots out there, but we had a, had a good laugh on the way around. And uh, yeah, no, it was nice to, nice to get away from the yard for, for a day. And Ollie, your app launch was this week. It's, uh, there's been lots and lots of downloads and some really, really good feedback from a lot of the owners and things. Um, how's it gone from your side of things? Yeah, no, it looks fantastic. And as you said, there's been plenty of good feedback. Um, I think there's been, there's been plenty of downloads, as you say. So, uh, listen, it's only going to keep improving. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great thing that's been launched. And I think it's going to be beneficial to plenty of people. And lots of schooling on there in the mornings and horses going up the gallops. There's lots for owners and and uh, you know the public to see so um, yeah hopefully it's sort of a new thing that sort of takes off in racing yeah most definitely we'll um, obviously try and update it as, as often as we possibly can there's plenty of uh, info on uh, on the yard on there and, and, and pictures and videos as you said so yeah no, hopefully it's going to be a big hit now, Ollie the last few weeks we've been doing these um, sort of catch-ups with you you've had a couple of winners each week and you know this week you li didn't let us down again had a, had a really good day up at Market Raisin um, perfect man he looked really, really tough and was given a, a very good ride by Aidan Coleman, I thought. Yeah, no, good day. Um, it was one of those days I thought I could have no winner or, or, or could have two or three winners. It was um, it was a good day. He was a uh, perfect man. He was very tough, um, as you said. He stays very well. Um, I was a little bit worried about the ground beforehand, but uh, he seems versatile and he, he just could be a horse that could, could, could go on again. And the owners have, have been very lucky. If you've had, had two runners, Hunter's Core and then Perfect Man, Two from two, very very lucky owners. Yeah, no, they're uh, they're, they're lovely people as well. So it's great to great to reward them. They've been good supporters of mine since I since I started training. So uh, it was nice that, that that Sam got down from Scotland as well. So uh, yeah, no, it's a good day, and and hopefully they'll have loads more fun with him. And Angela Harlem again, <coughs> she was given a very good ride by Aidan Coleman. I thought she sort of had them all at it from from three out. But had to be really tough and game in the end to sort of see off high jinx. She was obviously getting a lot of weight from him, but he was a, a former Group One winner on the flat. Yeah, no, she stays well. So we were we were riding a very positive, um, which is a bit unlike me. But uh, she's a filly who's won twice now from her four runs for me. Um, I still think she's improving, and uh, I think she could be a filly that could go on to bigger and better things. And Apache Prince ran ran a lot better. And again, I, th I thought actually um, he was given a very good ride by Dave. Very patient. Sort of rode rode for a place and, and in the end ran, ran a nice race and put put a you know a better foot forward really. Yeah, no delight with him. Um, as you said, he was given a nice sympathetic ride. Um, his first two runs were nothing short of probably part of Barrett would be the word. Um, so it was nice to get him back on back on track. Um, and he certainly could be a horse now to keep an eye on wherever he goes the next day. We'll just have a quick mention about Night Commander and Undefined Beauty. Obviously, Undefined Beauty was Fergus's sort of comeback ride. Didn't really work out for him. There was, there was absolutely no pace in the race at all. And to be fair, they were both sort of almost un unlikely, un un unlucky that, you know, their, their runs sort of fourth and fifth. But um, with a bit more pace on, I think both of those would, would run better. Yeah, and no, it was a fast for race. Um, I thought Knight Commander was very unlucky, um, just the way the race panned out. But, but he ran well and, and certainly got things back on track. And uh, as you said, on the fine beauty, she was way too keen for her own good. And unfortunately, however well handicapped you are, when you're that keen, you can't win. Looking at entries all, today you've got three runners at Banger. We start off with Craig Moore in the three mile, three handicap chase. Richard Johnson rides, he'd have to have a good chance, would he? Yeah, I think the step up and triple suit him well. Um, really looking forward to running him. He's uh, he's in very good form. I think he only just got away with the sharp trip the last day, so there's some fingers crossed. Um, I thought he was probably my best chance of winner this week. A Muller boy in the two mile seven handicap hurdle. Lewis Stone rides, takes the seven off. Yeah, no, ran well, um, ran well the last day. Um, Lewis gets on well with him. He's won and been second on the twice he's ridden him. So I didn't think it looked the most competitive of races. Um, we're riding patiently again. And again, I thought he'd be, um, he'd be horse be fairly, f firmly in the mix up. No alarms also um, in the handicap hole over 2-3 with Jack Sherwood on. Good yeah. to give him a ride. He's always always him riding out. Yeah, no, it's hard for a lot of these lads at this time of year. It's, it's very quiet and Jack's in with me three mornings a week. And he's obviously a, a Cheltenham Festival winning jockey. So, uh, yeah, he's going to have to work his miracles on, uh, on on this fellow. He's been very, very disappointing. And, and listen, he's he's a horse who's, who's unfortunately going backwards, not forwards at the moment. And you've got also lots of other entries in the week. Candy Bergs in at Newton Abbott in the two mile four handicap chase. He'd obviously ran well at Utoxeter the first time, but you have to put his run behind him at Cartmel. 
Yeah, um, stepping him up in trip. I don't, don't know what went wrong the last day, but he, if he reproduces, you talks to run, he won't be far away. But if he reproduces, can't mail run, he's absolutely no chance. So, a bit of a fact finding mission, but he's in good form and, and uh, yeah, hopefully he'll run well again. And uh, I run Ayala on the same card. She was very, very disappointing in you talks when I thought she'd nearly win. Um, I'm going to fit her with tongue tie and cheek pieces um, tomorrow. So, listen, hopefully that helps her out. She's certainly got ability, it's just trying to get that out of her. And Ms. Master, is he likely to go in the, in the claiming hurdle at, at he'll, Worcester? He'll go to Worcester, obviously dropping down in uh, grade significantly. Um, he's in good form, two and a half miles will suit him well. And uh, yeah, again, I'd hope in that grade now that he'd go very close. And Cape Icons in at Kempton and also Chelmsford. Both over a or one over a mile, one over seven in in a handicap. Where's he likely to go? Oh, he may go nowhere. Um, I'm just going to kind of see what what these races look like. Um, he obviously had a good run the last day in, in in Wolverhampton. I think he'll go close wherever he goes the next day. But I just wouldn't mind running him in his own grade as he's down to a mark of seventy five. And and Stratford, you've got a lot of those horses in Ataman. Greg Moore, we've got Pae Ayala. Ataman, you say he's likely to go. He obviously has had a disappointing run on the flat, but he was placed last time over hurdles. Yeah, I'd imagine he'll go. Alex Ferguson will ride him in the Amish Riders hurdle. Uh, if he reproduces last one at Fakenham, he'd have an each way chance. Um, seems in good form at home. He loves quick ground, so hopefully he'll run well. And uh, I might run. We've got Pae on the same card if we've got a drop of rain. Um, he was obviously impressive first time out in a, in a bumper at, uh, at Utoxter. I think he's come on for that run. So, uh, listen, hopefully he'll uh, he'll go close to defying a penalty. Obviously, we got Pies also in at Fontwell. How's in his race at Utoxter? He was very green, and obviously when when he got the hang of it, he actually ran strong through the line. But how's he sort of come out of the race? And has he improved at home? Does he look like the penny's starting to drop? Yeah, he seems to have sharpened up a little bit. He's he's very very laid back, which which I like in a horse. Um, but uh, yeah, as you said, he did run green, and I think all he's going to do from Utoxa to his next run is improve. So uh, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to running him. And Ollie, from from week to week as we come up here, the facilities are changing all the time. Last week there wasn't a brick laid of the new Walker. Now the roof's about to go on. Also the the new barn. I think you said there are around 32, 35 horses that that are going into the new barn as well. Again, a week ago it was a, a concrete sort of block along the floor and now there's the, you know there's a roof on it there's the stable starting to go in it's it's ever changing here and obviously you're spending a lot of money on the facilities and trying to improve the place all the time yeah um the bank manager's not 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 my best friend at the moment but uh yeah as you said we're, we're trying to improve the whole time and, and we're upping in numbers so we've another 32 boxes going in and a, a new eight horse walker and a big new storage shed so um we're slowly getting towards the winter and, and, and more horses coming in so yeah it's, it's it's exciting it's it's i suppose halfway to to being done and uh hopefully by kind of the first second week in september we'll have horses in and we'll be we'll be up and running and the two winners this weekend took you to 20 we've mentioned before about you you having that sort of loose target of 20 trying to to get to that target for october you obviously you've hit that target already so it's you know you're obviously a forward of, of where you'd want to be but obviously you're, you're trying to improve the, the facilities all the time and trying to improve things all the time and trying to make things you know so that you're able to you know when the winter does kick in you're able to really push on and and, and you know work towards trying to break 50 jump winners yeah um we've had a had a nice start to the year um We've tipped away nicely, and I, I think we're on a, a kind of a strike rate at 19%, which kind of be happy with. Um, just looking forward to, to the autumn now. We've plenty of nice horse to run, and this time of year, the summer horses are just starting to come to the end of their tether. So uh, we've had, a, as you said, we've had a nice start, and it's just a nice platform to, to, to move into the autumn with. So we're going to do a feature each, each week, and we'll start this week with. Um, Thomas Darby, who's a, a beneficial who won at Huntingdon under Fergus Gregory. How's how's he coming along? Lovely horse. Um, obviously, he's won his, won his only start to date, um, which the race actually worked out very well. Um, yeah, he's a horse I'm looking forward to. He won't want the ground too soft now. Um, yeah, he could be a proper horse for the start and, uh, and the end of the season now. Um, he'll start from a, in a maiden herd around a good track. Um, in the autumn but yeah he's certainly a horse I'm looking forward to running um he's a good attitude his work's always been good at home and uh yeah no he's a horse I'm really looking forward to and and the the Whateley's obviously big supporters of yours they've got lots of nice horses for you now as well what would his sort of training regime be like at the moment what, what would he be doing on a daily basis you know lots of lots of trainers 
use walkers and obviously use road work and things like that you know how, how far forward would he be would he be canting away now yeah no he's up away and uh and, and cantering um for the last three weeks just just steady away um so I'm, I'm just a little bit cautious about getting these winter horses ready too early with the with the way the ground's been and uh and how little rain we've had so uh you know he's cantering and he's not a big thick set horse so uh he uh he'll probably want to be one of the earlier types um but in a couple of weeks' time now, we'll get them, all these babies scrolling over hurdles and uh, and get plenty of experience under their belt. And, uh, you know, he's one of, of, of 30 to 35 lovely novice hurdlers that we've got going into the, going into the new season. And has he actually jumped a hurdle yet? Has he jumped an obstacle yet? Or? He, he has, yeah. He was schooled and ready to run over hurdles last year. All the babies have done loads, but uh, listen, we'll do plenty of them again now in the next kind of six weeks as well and uh, make sure they're going to the races like handicappers. And it's all, all you know, fun time seeing those young horses get, getting them off the ground and you know, get, getting them bobbing around together and then sort of working. And would, would you work a lot of them together or would you, would you try and keep them with older horses and try and sort of get them learning and building up experience yeah no, a bit of both really um i suppose you get a, a nice idea of what's what when you when you pair them up with an older horse but uh yeah as you said i've a, I've a lovely group to, to to work with and, and i've been lucky enough we've had plenty of bump winners so uh you get a nice marker of what's what and uh as you said it's a really exciting time good stuff ollie well listen we better leave you because you've got first lot going on behind you and you i'm sure you want to watch these so uh good luck with your runners this week and uh we'll catch up with you um next week great job thank you